Hi guys, welcome to this short video about how to remove a gas cylinder from an office chair. I mean, we have three parts. We have actually the chair, we have the gas cylinder and we have these wheels with these legs. And sometimes the whole thing is stuck together. And so we want to have this gas cylinder either removed from the legs here or from the chair itself. And I was in this situation because the gas cylinder was too low. It was scratching on the floor. And so I had to remove it and add some padding and insert it again. And I've been looking for some videos online couldn't find a really good solution so i was thinking we could use and try with a car check to uh, put it in between and then put some pressure lift it up so let's see how this experiment went so you can see me with the car check and i put it just on top here because there's some some metal it's underneath the chair and so it's not very sensitive and you can put it directly here even when it's scratching it doesn't matter but i would highly recommend to use some wood maybe something like that put a little bit of wood here underneath and also on top to avoid some scratching so you can see me putting this thing here and then you can start lifting it up of course there's no resistance you can start easily doing with one hand so here you can see me putting or you know, adding the wood here in between that's super important here unfortunately it's a little bit leaning and so that's the biggest problem here because it's not totally straight here it's not straight and here on top it's not straight so if you put too much pressure the whole thing can just almost like shoot out you have to be really careful i highly recommend to use gloves which i didn't and so i hurt myself a little bit it would be much better to have somebody holding this with maybe some gloves or so secure it that it's not falling out and so you can see what happened i think it is already loose yeah now it's loose okay and so i hurt myself here but it is loose so i was succeeding somehow yeah here i just wanted to show you how it can be done better uh, yeah put some piece of wood underneath and also on top this is definitely a much better version also use gloves and maybe even use a second person to assist and so it's not falling out and damaging the floor but you can see now it's totally loose i can remove everything and just lift this thing up so but it also confirms that the gasoline is actually still stuck here on the chair and this cannot easily be removed i've seen people using a wrench when it has some square shape or so but here in my situation it's not a square so it could be super hard to remove but at least we have removed the socket here with the wheels the legs exactly the thing which i wanted to do to put some padding here in between so the gasoline that wouldn't be so low and so i did that and i put some tape around it as you can see i wished i would have done a little bit more tape yeah here you can see me just putting the legs and yeah wheels on top again at the beginning it was a little bit wobbling very weak but after sitting on it for a couple of hours now it's almost as stable as before but also on the other side the gas cylinder got a little bit lower but it's still much higher than before before it was scratching the floor and now i still have around two inches in between so i think it will uh, remain the same and i can confirm that the chair is pretty stable again and not wobbling and so this did the job it seems to really work i've seen people using a strong hammer destroying almost everything what i've seen from other people they have been putting the office chair like upside down like in this position on top of a desk so the whole thing from here was hanging down and then using a large hammer and hammering on this part here but of course you can do a lot of damage to the chair to the desk to almost everything when you use a large hammer so i think the version with the car check is still the better option and i would definitely do it again 
if I had to do it uh, next time again. So yeah, that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or better solutions, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.